way in Vegas at a bachelorette party. So I've been on my own. So it's the first day she's been back today. And I love this super cute hair, but I know someone's gonna mention it in a minute. And I'll show you the rest of my outfit if you want me to. Um, so I was sitting here in my dining room, which is my new craft space. I've been showing you my new small craft space. Um, it's just a table in the dining room. And it's been really fun because I actually find I sit down and craft. I sure need to get this off my desk because you can't see that yet. Um, so I've been making samples and all sorts of fun things. And you can see like, you know, it's my dining room table. It has some storage binders. It has my outside tablecloth, the bar at the back that we still need to build in. Hey everyone who's joining in. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Happy Thursday. Um, so I'm super excited because not only did I get to wear my new favorite outfit today, but we launched our ebook. And so I'm going to guide you through how to use that ebook, where to go and get it. Um, hi everyone, welcome. So yeah, so I'm going to give you all that information. Um, I always give it to the two minutes. So if you're watching it, um, and it's not live anymore, hop in to the two minute mark and we will have dived in. So I have it running on my laptop too, so I can see the comments and questions and things. I'm just gonna make some extra room because there's a lot of stuff going on on this desk. There's a lot of cool things woo, coming out and I have a lot of classes that I've had to design. So, hey Amanda. Um, I'm also going to tell you about something that Amanda's been up to today, which is exciting. And I have to thank Amanda for this ebook because I sent Amanda, <laughs> God, she probably died when she saw it. I sent her this download. I'm like, okay, I want to do an ebook and it has to be about card layering. And I sent her this ebook and I knew some of the measurements were wrong. So I said, okay, we need to revise those. I said, but you need to make it look good. And she took something that I designed, which is pretty bad because I'm not that good at those kinds of things. I mean, I can come up with the ideas. Executing Illustrator, mm, still learning. Anyway, she took it and she's turned it into the most amazing guide for you all. And it's totally free. That's the best part. It's totally, totally free. Okay, I'm gonna show you the outfit first. So this is a little Hello Kitty. It's actually a scarf, but I turned it into a little hair thing. We went to the mall just now to do Mother's Day shopping and I had so many comments about it. And I have my little matching Hello Kitty t-shirt on. And I don't know if I can go far enough back. Um, I'm gonna try and go further back. I have a little Hello Kitty skirt on it, and I know lots of you love Hello Kitty. It has Hello Kitty all the way around the edge, so I'm totally and utterly in love with this outfit, and I can't wait to just wear it and wear it and wear it. Um, I'm trying to get into the whole hair scarf thing. My hair's a bit of a mess by now. It just started raining as we came in. So anyway, I had to share that and get it off my chest. Now I feel better. Um, so <laughs> that's just me anyway. Uh, I love Hello Kitty. Can I just tell you I'm the biggest Hello Kitty addict out there. I get the subscription boxes. I get everything Hello Kitty. I just love it. Okay. And if anyone wants this, because I know someone will ask, it's from Unique Vintage. And they have some other stuff. I also have a dress. And that's where my little conversation heart skirt came from too. So all of those things are coming up. Anyway, today is a fun day. We are launching our first free ebook. Isn't that the best word ever? Free. Um, so I'm going to share with you this book. I'm going to turn my camera so it's face down in a second. I can see uh, all of your comments here as well. Betty says it's not raining here yet. Um, I think Betty's super close to me as well. Um, I'll see if I, I'll post a picture on Instagram before I take it off tonight. So if you follow at the Hedgehog Hollow on Instagram, I'll post a twirl of my outfit so you can get to see it. Um, so yes, and it, by the way, because I know that not everyone follows us on Facebook, just to let you know, if you are local and you know anyone local, we are recruiting someone part-time to help us pick and pack the orders. Um, it's just getting to the point where we need a third person to help us. So if you, Betty, you're a mile away, if you know someone who might be interested, it's about three to four hours a day. Or if you know anyone else who lives in Bradenton, Sarasota, then let us know. Um, you can email me, alexandra at makeaforte.com, and I'll give you more of the information, and it's on our Facebook page. And yes, come on, I have seen the items. I have the pencil holder, which is the most impractical pencil holder ever, but it's so cute because it's Hello Kitty. I don't think I have anything else from that collection. I don't think, but I have seen them. I love it. All right, so let's dive in to today's ebook. Um, as I say, it's the first one we've ever done. It's totally free. That's the best part. Um, so I'm gonna turn my camera around. You're gonna see the window just for a second while I turn this. This one always takes me a minute to figure out. 
but I'm gonna get there. And the, I'm also gonna show you not just the um, guide, but I'm gonna show you how to use it because I think that's just as important as producing um, you know, a really great guide for you is how do you actually go and use it. So, okay, hopefully you can all see that just fine. It's eight and a half by 11 and it's seven pages, eight pages long, eight pages long. So um, this is my cardstock so I can show you how to use it in a minute. But here is your guide and it's called the ultimate guide to perfect card construction and layering. So that's exactly what it's about. So we want making to be easy. So there's all this information on here and then it takes you through Cutting an A2 card, you can do a top fold or a side fold or however you want to do it. It shows you how to layer those as well. And also, you know, so your finished card size will be 5.5 by 4.25 inches. And then it shows you how to cut each layer. And these are true to size. I'm going to show you this as we go. Then there's how to make a slimline card. And then there is where to score your slimline card. There is layering your slimline card. Then there's a mini slimline, because that's kind of the current trend is doing these mini slimlines. And then also the same thing for doing the front. Now what I suggest you do is you can take this and you can double print each side like this, and then I would lay, laminate them. So if you laminate these like this, then you'll have them every time you craft. So it'll tell you how to do your card base, and then this will tell you how to do your card front. And then you can do the same for a slimline, like this. And then you could do the same for your mini slimline. So you can just have three laminated pieces, and you'll see me, um, you'll see me doing that. I'm gonna get mine laminated. So here's my layering and A2 card. So let me show you how easy it is to follow this guide. And if you want to go and get yours, it's over at perfectcardlayering.com. I'll put the link down here. It's totally free. You just perfectcardlayering.com. And if you go and download it, there is a coupon code to get your own, to, you can use it against cardstock too. So that's a fun one. Um, so let's start. So it tells you here to cut in half. Now, depending whether you want a long card scored this way, or if you want a wide card scored this way, they're both gonna end up giving you the same size piece, but you can pick which one you want to do. It's entirely up to you. So I'm gonna use my paper trimmer. And we're gonna take our guide, and I'm gonna cut here. I'm gonna cut this 5.5 inch line. So let's line it up. And here's a tip for you, do this, and also put it against the bottom here. So if you put it against the bottom down here, then when you press down, you'll put all your pressure is coming in this direction. And so it doesn't have anywhere to go. If you put it up here against this top line and then you slice down, all the pressure is pushing it this way and that's why you get a wonky cut. So make sure you put it down here and slice and then you will get a straight cut as well. So there is a top tip for you as well. So there's our piece, we'll need this again in a minute, so don't get rid of that. Now you're gonna take that same piece, so it says score. So here's your piece that you've cut, you had your two pieces, score here, oops, I turned that on by mistake, um, score at 4.25. I'm gonna take my score buddy, and it actually has a handy dandy little uh, star here, which is perfect, and so, you score at 4.25. And I put it personally, it's all personal preference, I don't like this. We, I like using my Teflon bow for it because it just glides really nicely. Um, I'm gonna use it anyway for firming up my fold. So when you do this, you just fold it in half, make sure it all marries up. And then you have a choice. You can either firm it with this end here, or somebody the other day told me how easy it is to firm it like this and how much crisper the fold was. And I was really surprised. I never thought of doing that. But she's like, yeah, take the edge of it and just go down it. And it made like this super crisp fold. Like it doesn't really bounce at all. So there's another tip for you. 
Then we're going to turn this over. So this matches. Oh, what we're going to do our layers in a second. But these match out your inside layers. You can see how that's going to fit in there, just like that. So um, your first one is going to be 5.25 by 4 inches. So I'm going to cut this at 5.25 again, keeping it along the bottom here. 5.25. Four inches and then I'm going to take that scrap that we had and we're going to cut five by 3.75 five So there is your three layers of your card. Um, so you can do all of those things on there as well. Um, so that is how easy it is to use the guide, which is the best part. I also um, was going to show you, because I've had a ton of questions about how do I do this. So I did a sombrero card, I should have grabbed it, it's upstairs in the craft room, um, for the Lift Your Spirits release. And it, had this really cool scored background. So I thought I would show you how I did it um, because it's so easy. So I'm just going to pick a stencil or something. Here we go. I'm going to pick a cactus just because it happens to be right here. And I'm going to grab some palm tree ink. Blender. <laughs> Kathy says, I think you could probably use the Make a Forte bone holder to change a tire. That's funny. I like that. I don't know. We should ask Greg. Greg is a tire engineer, my husband, for those who don't know. Um, but he's a theoretical tire engineer. He even has a PhD in it, so he's pretty good at it. But he will not change a tire. I change my own tires. So I'm going to center this up, and then I'm going to use my magnets to hold it down. I'm going to pick up some palm tree. I don't have any of my nice soft blending brushes down here. I've been using these. And they're really good for getting the detail. But you know what? Make it work. And maybe we'll just make the top of our palm pop green too. A piece of uh, purple tape will help you mask off all the different areas of your palm pop. We're not doing that right now. Uh, let's do. I'm going to do a tip tree jam plant pot. This is going to be pretty bright and bold. So, we'll just add a little bit of the tip tree jam in. It doesn't really matter what you make. I just want to show you how cool this idea is. So, that's that one. I'm going to take this off. I'm going to have to wipe off my magnet. Normally I'd wipe it on my clothes. Not on this skirt though. Uh, let's throw this on the floor so it doesn't make a mess. So here's your piece. And I want to show you how easy it is to make a super cool background. Um, let's see. So now, this is how I made the background on the sombrero. I just picked... And I'll be honest, originally it was supposed to be an even kind of layering. But then I ended up doing it wrong, so I decided that it wasn't going to be even, it was just going to be random. So some are thick, some are thin, and then I scored down to where the stencil was, kept kind of trying to be in the groove, and then went the rest of the way. And then did the same. So I'm going to go here, skip. And you can also just follow the line down. I think it was this one. Yeah. 
I go up from the top. And then you can pick this one. And go up from the top. Let's do the next close one. You can even do the one in the center here because it happens to kind of go through the center of the cactus. And this will really just stick in those grooves. So you see, even though I'm trying to concentrate a little bit too, it just stays where you want it to stay. So even if I start at the bottom, which is usually pretty hard, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna have one here, and another one here, and another one here. And now you have this really cool background. You didn't have to stamp anything, you didn't have to do anything. Um, yeah, all that stuff. Uh, so, let me see. I'm trying to catch up on here as well. Lisa says she's officially started packing. She's going to the opposite side of the same condo complex. So it's not so bad, but it's still horrible to move, I know. Um, I would have moved to Savannah, Georgia if I didn't hate packing. Sorry. Trust me, I never want to move again. We were talking about the other night because there's a couple of things about this house that makes it not our like, forever home. And I said, oh, what is packing all this up again? It just does not sound like fun. So anyway. So this is how you make a super easy background. I mean, look how cool that is. And then you would take this, mount it up. Let's take a little bit of tape. And I linked all these supplies up in the back of the guide too. So if you're wondering what did she use, I've linked them in the description of this video. But I also, of course I ran out of tape, I also um, link them up in the back of your ebook. And if you didn't get the version because Amanda updated it um, earlier, then you can go back and get it again. You can go back in and get that. But like, how cool is that? Like, super, super simple, but so, so effective. Um, so if you want to get a guide, I'm gonna come back and talk to you all this. Honestly, that is super, super, super easy. That's one of my favorite ways to add a little bit of texture. Um, so thanks, Kat. She says, show some love. Make sure you give us a thumbs up. It really does help. Um, like That's what YouTube goes off of, whether you comment, whether you like it, all those kinds of things. So yeah, so I wanted to share with you like just how easy that is. What do you all think of the ebook? Is it helpful? Um, if you get it, I'm gonna put the link down here again, www.perfectcardlayering.com. Super easy. So you can go over there and you can grab the guide. As I say, it's perfectly free. Uh, you don't have to do anything for it. Just type in your name. We'll also email you a copy as well. Um, so all those things too. So what do you think? Let me know. Um, if you have feedback once you've used it, again, let us know. Um, when you print it, make sure you set the printer to 100% so that you get the right sizes of layers. So make sure you set it to 100% because if you scale it, it won't come out perfectly. That I found out the hard way. I have a few versions. I did not print at 100%. Uh, so yeah, so go over there. Don't forget, of course, to hit subscribe and ring the bell um, over here on our YouTube channel. I go live pretty regularly uh, with lots of tips and tricks. And if you found these freebies helpful, we would definitely do more of them. And if you would like to um, do more of these kinds of things, so if you think that this is really cool, um, I'm going to take a poll because we did this the other day and... I'm so excited about it. And Amanda kind of hinted about it too. So um, how many of you love this guide? You can type me or you can give us a thumbs up, either of those. Um, <laughs> my North Pole chick, <laughs> Alicia. Um, Alicia. Alicia with a Y, I think. Oh, I don't know. I always get it wrong. Yes. Okay. So if you love this, would you love to do a... Do you have a ton of craft supplies, first of all, you never, ever, well, never, ever use? 
or perhaps you watched a video like mine and you thought, yes, uh, I love that. I have to go and buy it. And now you can't remember what video it was or you can't remember um, like where the video was, what the video was, why you bought it, um, all those questions. And then now you don't want to go and find a video because it takes too long. Does that sound like you? Because it definitely sounds like me. Um, so if that is you, uh, we are doing a crafty summer camp. So I always wanted to go to camp as a kid. So I am making the ultimate craft summer camp experience. And I know lots of you on here are already signed up, but I'm sure there are some of you who are thinking, oh, I'm not sure about this. Trust me, it's going to be the ultimate camp experience. Um, <laughs> I love in the comments. This is going to be awesome. We are doing 13 weeks but you get seven sessions. So it's every other Wednesday at 7.30 p.m. Eastern. You can come and join us for Summer Craft Camp. It's an hour and a half hosted on Zoom that will then get put on YouTube as an unlisted link, so it's forever private. But the reason we're doing it on Zoom is if you want to, at the end of that hour and a half, we're opening it up to do a campfire chat, which will be so cool because you'll be able to talk to each other, you'll be able to talk to me, you'll be able to ask questions, and every week is themed. So we have a week about how you stretch your background stamps. How do you rear foil? Not with me, like I did the other night. Um, how do you use your inks for things other than just stamping? Like, what can I do with an ink pad? How do I get some bang for my buck out of that? How do I use a kaleidoscope powder or a pigment powder? How do I use my cardstock scraps? Because I have a whole ton of those. Um, but the great thing is if you can't watch live, like Kat said, oh my God, my kids have things every 4 p.m. on every Wednesday, you get lifetime access. So you can come and you can watch it anytime. There is a Facebook group so you can interact with everyone. Um, you do not have to feel like you're missing out. So you'll still be able to do that. There will still be lives you can participate in. There'll still be things. And then once you have watched your camp, you can earn a badge. Who wants to earn their crafty badges? There are six badges to earn. Who is interested in earning their crafty badges? I'm putting the link down for anyone who wants to. Yes, Lisa wants to earn her badges. Um, me, 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 yay! Well, come earn your crafty badges because what you have to do is, so say it's foiling week, you have to go and make a foiling project. Now, you can use some of the techniques in class. You can use some of the techniques from basically whatever you want. There's some really cool stuff in there. So um, you can go earn your badges, which I think is so cool. I'm really excited about it. And then um, there's giveaways. So if you participate in the challenge, you'll get a giveaway. If you participate in the um, Zooms, there will be giveaways. And just for being part of camp, there will be giveaways. So even if like cats, you couldn't make the sessions, you'll still win stuff. There's still plenty of chances to win. Also, something super exciting. I was talking to ThermaWeb today. Yay, Girl Scout leader, Jen. Um, you can be one of our leader counselors. Maybe you can be a mentor to our alumni next year. So um, yes, yeah, so lots of giveaways. You will earn your badges. We have um, a survival kit option. So if you don't have a ton of crafty supplies or you just feel like you need some more, or you want a box where everything you need to do summer camp is in a box, that's for you. You can do that. So if you want to do that as well, there is the option to add on your survival kit. There are exclusive stencils in there and stats, a little bit of all the kind of things that you'll need. Um, so go check that out too. It's at summercraftcamp.com. You can sign up, you can pay all at once and save a little bit, or you can pay over the three months um, to make it more manageable too. Um, yay, thanks cats. Uh, so yes, so absolutely come join us at camp. It's gonna be so much fun. Uh, we just got a new uh, partner in camp today who are gonna be adding a little something extra, actually quite a big something extra, to every single person's camp survival kit. So um, they're in the process of being packed. I'm gonna actually wait for that item to come. They're being rushed to us. So if you ordered a survival kit, then you're going to be really excited because there's going to be some extra stuff in there too. So that's super, super exciting. Plus, uh, for those of you, so once you sign up, you will get an ebook. Amanda's amazing at these. You get a, um, a PDF 
and it contains uh, all the information you need to get into camp. So if you want to participate in the Facebook group, you do not have to if you don't have Facebook. We've made it that it's an optional bonus extra, um, but it will tell you where to go and join the group because it's secret. It will tell you when the sessions are, how to join them, all the things you need to know. You will get your camp guide um, and in there will be some really cool things as well. So, And then once you join the Facebook group, um, Amanda has added some extra things. If you don't join the Facebook group, I'll be sending you an email with all the info so you don't miss out because there are um, t-shirts that you can get with summer camp on. So many people said to me, can we get a summer camp t-shirt? So we've made that happen. Um, we are working on whether we can do some kind of badges at the end that's more than just the e-badges. Oh my God, there's so many cool things. I have so many surprises for you all. I have so many fun things. It's the ultimate camp experience. Um, so if you sign up for camp, you get the option to buy the survival kit at the end of that. If you didn't get that, well, you would have got the option, but if you didn't take advantage of it, um, and because we've added the extra surprises to it, send me an email, alexandra at makerforte.com. And once I put Tilly to bed, I will send you a very, very secret link to be able to get it again. But you can't share it with anyone. That has to be the deal. But if you haven't signed up for camp and you want the survival kit, you can just click the button that you want the survival kit. And it's really cool. It's a huge box full of stuff. You'll see Amanda's done a collage of everything. As I say, there are exclusive stencils. I'm cutting them right now. Maddie's going to package them tonight. And there's some stamp sets. And the stamp set, one of the stamp sets is the badges. Isn't that the coolest thing? It is the badges in a stamp set. So I am so cool. Anyway, so go to summercraftcamp.com and come join me for the ultimate camp experience. I'm so excited. I even have bought special clothes to wear to camp because I want to be a camper so bad. Um, yes, I mean, we're going to have like special little bows and I've got bonuses and I'm putting extra stuff in your box and um, yeah, all that fun stuff. So super exciting. Um, if you need it, oh, Hello Kitty camp clothes. That would be so cool. Oh, I have to see what I can find now. Um, I missed the link. It is summercraftcamp.com. And does anyone still need the link for the ultimate um, layering guide too? Let me know, I can drop that down there too. It starts on June 2nd. June 2nd is gonna be an intro week. I'm gonna let you know about some of the things coming up, what the format is. Um, I'm going to let you know, I'm trying to think what else you need to know in there. Um, we're gonna do some demos. I'm gonna show you some of the things we have coming up, where to find what the resources. We'll be eating s'mores. We'll be drinking spiked hot cocoa. So we're just gonna have fun and get to know each other week one and do some fun demos and kind of play around with some supplies and basically make a mess. Um, and then we get into it uh, two weeks, every two weeks on a Wednesday. So um, Kat says the link for the layering die. Oh, um, daffodils for days, it's called. Uh, hang on, my computer is so slow, but I'll find it for you, cats. Anything else I can help anyone with? What is the email to get the kit? Oh, Alexandra at makerforte.com. Mary, I packed your order today. I packed it, so I remember seeing that. Um, I'll find it for you. Daffodils, I can't spell to save my life. It's lucky I don't do the website, because that would not be good. But by the way, the card that you see on Daffodils for Days, I made that and I photographed it with my phone because Greg didn't have time to do it. So I'm quite proud of that too. Uh, so yeah, so there is Daffodils for Days, cats. And then if you want your card layering guide, perfectlayeringguide.com. So, oh no, that's not right. www.perfectcardlayering. I can't be trusted. I can't go live and think and <laughs> do everything. <laughs> uh, I'm trying my best. I'm trying my best. Okay, so if anyone needs anything, there it is for you. Um, so, uh, yeah, so if you have any questions, you can get in touch with me too. Um, if you want to come to summer camp, I really hope you do. I never got to go to camp as a kid. Maddie got to go to Girl Scout camp and I joined them for a day. But I'm so excited. We're going to have the ultimate camp experience. Trust me. It's going to be fab. 
I got lots of tricks up my sleeve and we'll be having so much fun. So I am going to go and tuck in Tilly because it is Tilly bedtime. And then I will answer your emails. And if anyone signs up for camp, you'll get some emails from me as well. So I can't do it to do those. And I'm gonna go package some more orders. I know I have an order for Lisa to package tonight. And holidays boxes. I packaged them all today. Well, Ray did a lot of them, but yes. So, so, so much fun. Um, oh, Laura, come join us at camp. I'd love to have you there. Um, Jen, you can email me, alexandra at makeaforte.com and I'll send you the survival kit link. Um, it's super secret, unless you sign up for camp and then it gives you the option as you're signing up for camp. Um, so yes. So I'm gonna go tuck Tilly in. I'm gonna take a picture. I'll post it on Instagram. I'll do like a little twirl and you can all see my full outfit because it really is very cute. So thanks for joining me. I love you all so, so much. I cannot wait to see you. Um, at camp. I hope you enjoy your free layering guide. If you have any feedback, anything you'd like us to know, anything we can do, um, then let me know. Um, and if you have any issues and you need anything, then you can get in touch with me, alexandramakeforte.com, or you can go and you can email Bethany, ecomm at makeaforte.com. Normally she's a little more responsive than I am, just because I'm packing orders and designing stuff but tonight I'll be online so come join me um and I will also be in the camp survival group I've got some fun things planned for you tomorrow too so I'll see you then happy crafting fam I'll see you soon